Hey guys, I'm down here at Goldie's Gym in Brunswick with Grant Tomlinson. Uh, here to bring you parts four and five of our five part instructional series. Uh, tonight, or well, today, we're going to train both back and legs one after the other uh, as separate training sessions just to bring you guys um, you know, the best way that I like to train back and legs. And um, Brent himself will be putting his own input in there as well, helping along the way. Um, so, yeah, basically, that's it. Let's get it done. Smash it. Right. First up, we've got our Pendlay rows. Um, I like to start a back workout with a, with a row. So basically, we've got Brent here. What you do? It's all right. Here, you grab the bar at a width of how you usually perform a bench press. You reset it on the ground after the first rep. Come up, squeeze the mid back, and reset. Now, a lot of people can't really go too heavy on these because you'll, you'll jerk it and your back will come up. I want your back to stay as parallel to the floor as possible. personally like to start off with the Penlay row. Um, so we've got Brent here. So first off what we do is we'll take the bar to the position where you usually you would hold a bench press. Now you want your back pretty much parallel to the floor. You want your back pretty much parallel to the floor. Come up, no momentum, from the legs, squeeze the mid back and reset. Up, squeeze, reset. Now if you come down here, watch Brent's forearm before pull the bar. Yeah. Watch Brent's forearm, see how his wrist is neutral to his elbow. A lot of people when they do it, they'll curl their wrist, which will basically fatigue their forearms. Fatigue their forearms long before the back workout is done. Uh, so next up, I like to second this with a lap pull down. Um, very common exercise, it's very, very basic, but yet a lot of people get wrong. So what I like to do, I get directly under, directly under the axis where, uh, where the cable rolls, look up, puff my chest up, drive my elbows straight down, and the bar should be finishing at my collarbone. Down, squeeze, little stretch, contract, collarbone. So you should be able to get your lats and your rhomboids together as well in this movement. See, you can still get your rhomboids as well as your lats when you're doing this. A lot of people, Brent will show you, come right out in the front. So come on this one. Try and pull the bar in front of their chest. The movement's done once you hit your collarbone. Your back's not contracting anymore down there. Let's just go back to finishing normal. So usually followed by the wide grip lat pull down on the close grip. Uh, the close grip hits a lot of the lower lat. Um, basically the same deal, straight up. Full stretch to the lats. Pop on chest up, pull to the bottom of the chest, squeeze the lower lats, and set up again. Really try and keep the elbows tight to your body. Really squeeze the lower lats. Brent here is doing it correctly. Um, a big common mistake a lot of people do is like a massive swing, which uh, he'll display now. This 
more work in the lumbar as well, which isn't beneficial to what we're trying to do right now. And really just correct it up again, Brett. And he's squeezing right in his lower lats down there. single arm low row on the machine. A lot of people do this with dumbbell and they move it into the hip. I personally prefer the machine. It takes a lot of fatigue out of my forearm and allows me to really isolate that lower lat again, keeping the elbow really nice and tight close to the body. So it comes up, tight squeeze, stretches out the lat, brings it in again, tight squeeze in there. Next up, we've got straight arm pull downs, uh, standing with a rope variation. The reason I like the rope is once you hit the bottom of the rep, you can spread, you get that little extra squeeze in your lats. Down, get full stretch in the lats. Go up slightly, big squeeze. Yeah. So don't come entirely up. Just point your chest in the sky a little bit. And get you that right amount of up. So I like to finish off with a superset for back, um, standing rope, rows I guess they're called. Um, so basically, grab a bit at the end of the rope, shoulder blades back, chest up high, and row without nipple line. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, and keep your shoulder blades retracted the whole time. Don't be doing this, keep them retracted, squeeze. Pretty much all extended the elbow, straighten up, squeeze. Try and have your thumbs facing each other at all times. That should be hitting your mid, mid back. Try holding for a count of maybe two, two, two count contractions. For about 15 reps on this one. Then we super set. Similar amount of reps. Chest up and row. Now this one, get a good stretch in the lats. Chest up, squeeze. Now another important thing I didn't explain earlier in the rows, if you're curling your wrists on a movement, simply flare your elbows slightly more. So you want your wrist to be parallel with the shoulder, sorry, with the elbow. That way you're not fatiguing your forearms too easily. And you can get a lot further along in your back workout.
wraps up back for us today at Doherty's Gym in Brunswick. Um, I hope you all learnt a little something. A few of you may be wondering why I didn't perform deadlifts at the start or at the end of the workout. Uh, personally, I like to do deadlifts on their own day. Um, more of a strength base as opposed to like a high volume and hypertrophy base. I feel that's better for thickness, better for strength and just overall growth in your back. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I'll see you next episode for legs. Right, uh, here we are, mid-break, shooting. Just did back, now back to the legs. Refueling with Raise the Bar custom catering. We've got our turkey taco spice here with brown rice for our man Bez, the videographer. And we've got chicken, sweet potato with lemon and herb dressing, which is uh, off its head. And then here I have a nice big fatty which I like to smother in tomato sauce. Uh, tuna pasta, tuna pasta bait which I think is very perfect for refueling for legs. Hey guys, thanks for watching another one of the Nathan Rocks training videos. If you feel like this helped you in any way at all, please subscribe. And also try and visit my website, www.nathanrocks.com for a lot more personalized diets and training programs. Also my Instagram and my Facebook where I can further help you with your training.